So this is the Cadillac collection here at the Nethercut Museum. So this is a 1912 Cadillac, horsepower 30, L head. It says, separately cast cylinders with copper water jacks prove the high quality of Cadillac engineering. This vehicle is historically important because it was the first model that could be started and lighted from inside the car. This vehicle when new, this 1912 Cadillac was $2,250. <clears throat> 1912 Cadillac Model 30 for passenger coupe. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This is the 1924 Cadillac Model V63 7 passenger touring. This Cadillac had a horsepower of 80. Price when new was about $3,000 or 2,985. It says the V63 was introduced in September of 1923 and was produced with various refinements. The new engine was equipped with what Cadillac described as the industry's first inherently balanced crankshaft, which resulted in remarkable, which remarked in remarkably smooth and quiet car. This was Cadillac's most important technology achievement since the company introduced the V-type eight-cylinder in 1914. This is a 1930 Cadillac model 452 town. One of the first people to order this luxurious new V16 Cadillac was legendary film director Cecil B. DeMille. This beautiful Fleetwood Transformo Town Cabriolet was to become one of his favorite cars. <clears throat> a true auto enthusiast. Um, so this car had 185 horsepower. Apparently it won some type of award. And uh, it was a V16, wow, V16. No joke. 1930 Cadillac. So the model 452A Imperial Cabriolet. This stylish Cadillac was a Cadillac Custom with coachwork by Fleetwood, one of the best performing cars in the collection. This 16-cylinder Cadillac was purchased by the Nethercut, the owner of this museum, in 1967 and was driven from Kansas City to California. It required very little mechanical restoration. The 16-cylinder engine is quiet, smooth, and very powerful. Another beautiful 16, 16 cylinder. All right, see what else we got here. This is the 1930 Cadillac model 452 dual Cal Phaeton. Uh, price when new was $6,500. It had 175 horsepower, V16. Although technically not available in the 1930s, this dual Cal body was installed new at the factory. The first purchaser, Gilbert Maruru, a New York band lender, leader of some repute convinced Cadillac to install an earlier unsold body on this V16. Wow, that, I love the colors. Those colors pop. Looks like a bumblebee. All right. 1932 Cadillac model 42, 452B Deluxe Sport. Horsepower was 175. Price when new was $4,945. V16. It says over 50 different body styles were available on the V16 Cadillac. However, none was more beautiful than this elegant sport Phaeton. Movie stars and producers were drawn to the V16 Cadillacs as their elegance reflected the lifestyle their public demanded of them. The V16 Cadillac Chases, says, I hope I'm saying that correctly, but I didn't mention that earlier, but that's the one it's referencing. Beautiful color though. 1933 Cadillac model 452C Imperial Limousine. Horsepower was 175, cylinder 16. It says 1933 proved to be Cadillac's lowest production year since 1909 with only some 6,400 units produced. Half of these were the cheaper LaSalle series. Cadillac announced the V16 production would be limited to 400 cars. However, only 126 were sold. Today, the 1933 models are rare and highly sought after. They were considered by many to be the last of the true 100% classic Cadillacs. All right. 1935 Cadillac. Only two convertible Victorias with massive 154 inch wheelbase were produced. Despite its size, the beautiful convertible looks well proportioned and stylish. The Victoria was originally owned by Grover Whalen, New York City Police Commissioner an official greeter of New York City. Horsepower 185, 
price when new was $8,150. Its cylinder was a V16. 1935 Cadillac model 452 five passenger convertible coupe. Like these little, little idols on everything. The Cadillac aerodynamic coupe was first shown as a concept car at the 1933-34 Chicago World's Fair. This design influenced American auto designs into the 1950s. This very beautiful 1937 V16 coupe is one of the most distinctive automobiles of the 1930s. Nineteen thirty-eight Cadillac Series ninety convertible sedan. Price when new was six thousand uh, dollars. Cylinders V sixteen. It says this was an impressive first in a series that featured a lighter, more powerful flathead V sixteen. Cadillac was offering more car for the money when other luxurious cars at the time listed for eight thousand dollars. So this was two thousand less. The interior is accented with Art Deco styled instruments, most notably a square speedometer. The original owner was famous Polish opera singer, Madame Gana Wosk. In 1941, she bought an estate, Lotus Land, where you can visit her beautiful gardens today. Okay. This is a 1932 Chrysler series. CL8 Custom Imperial Convertible. Price when new was $3,595. Eight cylinder. It says only 152 model CH convertible sedans were produced. This beautiful example restored by the Netherca collection was the only blue crystal custom Imperial sold in Los Angeles and was the first seen by Mr. and Mrs. Netherca in 1932. This is a 1919 Cunningham V3 limousine. It says James Cunningham, son and co, incorporated in 1882, was America's leading producer of horse-drawn vehicles. Cunningham entered the automobile industry in 1907, producing quality yet conservative cars. In 1916, they bought out their very powerful 44 1.8 and V8. Sorry, one. 441.8 CU inch V8 and continued their V series through 1933. Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed the rare collections of Cadillacs. This other one was kind of just a throw in, but we'll do one, one more walkthrough. I should say, I'll do one more walkthrough with you guys. When I say we, I'm kind of including you as the audience and what I'm doing. Mm. I wonder what a lot of these emblems are. They look like like pagan deities that they put on the cars and probably it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, they put it on money, right? Let's do a let's do a little throw-in car here. So this is a 1932 Austro Daimler. Horsepower was 115. Price when new was ten thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, that's just one first place for something. Pebbles Beach in 2000. Pebble Beach Connors. Connors. Let's just take a look at that beautiful car. The artwork on that is pretty amazing, isn't it? 
that's the thing. To me, I felt like cars of the past were like artwork. Today, they just, they all kind of look the same. But yeah, that is a beauty.